Well, all right, guys. Welcome back to port, uh, part 14. Uh, Jake here with you. Uh, just going through um, to kind of catch you up. I've gone through and done my um, uh, inner ring of my saucer, and uh, now I've gotten most of the um, <clears throat> as taking laid on minus these two pie wedges here. And so what I'm going to do is I promised y'all that I'd go through and show you how to lay uh, lay down the the um, the as teching for this and I've done enough of these to where I can just take these pie wedges and and um, just pick them off pluck them off put them on one by one because it's it's um, pretty pretty straightforward once you do a, two or three of these pie wedges it gets it gets pretty easy to do so uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, is uh, once I get these last two pie wedges down we've got to go through here and uh, uh, mask off the areas that we're going to be uh, painting with the gold and uh, <coughs> I'm going to go uh, with you um, and I'm going to paint um, with my high volume low pressure uh, paint gun and, and uh, use blue uh, all over you know for the main for the primary color and then uh, gold uh, I'll do that off camera once all this dries because I'll have to go through and pluck all these off and all, all that kind of stuff and and uh, once I get all that done I can go through and start laying down my uh, tertiary colors and um, you know my for my red and the green so uh, what I'm gonna do now is uh, <clears throat> get this moved in I'm gonna zoom in here for you uh, make sure you're in frame here <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel off uh, I'm gonna peel off this section here which is uh, goes right here so <clears throat> I'm gonna get this peeled off and get it going to make sure that you do it nice and gent gentle because you don't want to pull these uh, maskings off with the paper but if it does it pretty much self-explanatory on where uh, where these go so now I'm going to get my squeegee tool <clears throat> bring this back over I'm going to apply this make sure I'm lined up good there so I'm gonna kind of flatten it out a little bit all right <clears throat> I'm gonna take my tweezers and slowly start rolling them off make sure that my little pieces are down because this stuff this masking or this um, transfer tape um, kind of has a high tack to it so it makes everything stick so you got to make sure to uh, pull off and you know gently start it and if you have <clears throat> if you have anything uh, come off you can just uh, let it stay on the paper and uh, pluck it back off and put it back in position because you'll pretty much know where it goes And the first time I did this, it was kind of intimidating. Because you didn't know how hard to push, how fast to pull back, all that kind of stuff. And it, a couple of times, I've built this this uh, this ship a couple of times, so I kind of pretty, pretty much know what it's about. So 
and has a piece pull up here on me. What I'll do is I'll just pluck it off and put it back down. Simple as that. Alright, there's that one. Now I'm going to take this piece because it kind of slid up on me and just kind of readjust it. I might actually take the whole piece off. And if you have to, you can just pretty much pluck it off like that. <clears throat> and uh, reposition it to where you need it to be. You can do this a couple of times before it starts losing its tackiness. <laughs> sorry, sorry for the pun there. There's that one. So you can see how see how easy that one rolled on. So now we'll go back and do this last pie wedge here. So what I'll do is I'll <clears throat> put it down and start on a corner and gently gently start pulling it back. All right, there's that. <clears throat> so now we can pick this up. You don't want to touch this backing too many times. All right, now we'll align this last this last piece here. That looks pretty good to me. So now I'll just slide it down. I like to do this with my thumb too as well. Cause that because you don't wanna <clears throat> you don't wanna accidentally snag it with the tool. I mean you can really get some good you can rub it down pretty good. Now I like it doing it a lot better this way. Alright. <clears throat> now I'm already gonna have trouble with this piece, so I'm gonna slowly start working it back and I'm gonna slide this little piece off and put it down where it's supposed to go. Do the same thing here with this other little square. I'm just going to set it down there because when I get through, I can come back and and uh, fix it. So now all I got to do is just start rolling it back. And it gets easier as you go. I tell you what, though, I, I will say this: this is the easiest of doing the, the all, you know, 
I've done several of the 1-1000 scale ships and I'm telling you uh, orbital dry dock doesn't go that small on his on his um, masking so you have to use Aztec dummy and Aztec dummies uh, masking does not have this transfer method uh, with his you basically have to pluck them off one by one and I I will tell you the refit and the Reliant uh, are easy now I'll say the Reliant gets a little harder because it's a little bit smaller but the uh, when you get down to doing the Excelsior the 1 1000th Excelsior I mean they are microscopic and I, I will tell you that they are difficult so when you're doing this and then you go do a um, 1 1000th scale ship <laughs> it's this is this is like a piece of cake to do it this way compared to uh, plucking it off all right those two pieces are on so now <clears throat> I'm gonna back out and uh, <clears throat> I'm following the trek modeler guide here so what I'm going to do is um, go through and I've gotten all these done around here now we're just down to the last two pie wedges so uh, what you're right here and uh, <clears throat> so you can see we have one that's a step down so we have our four our four um, well you're out of frame again hang on let me uh, there we go. So you can see we have our four, our four pieces, and then it says to skip a piece. So we're going to skip a whole section right here, and then go to, go to this one, which gets two pieces, one down here at the very bottom, and then this piece here. So I'm going to get my, uh, uh, my uh, Kamoe tape, Kamoe tape, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to skip that one and go to this one, the very bottom one gets one um, with this tape uh, any tape that you're putting over this um, mask you have to be very careful when you do it so what I do with this and a lot of people will disagree is I kind of put it on my pants and pull it up off a little bit to kind of take some of the tackiness away uh, simply for the fact that uh, you don't want to really pull up all your all your masking with this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slot start it at the edge right there and yeah it's gonna look a little rough but in the end <clears throat> in the end it'll look all you know as long as there's no spots to where um, you get your other base you know your base coat down so now I'm gonna put <clears throat> this little piece then I'll just cut this and then I can use this piece Ooh, let me scoot this one back over a little bit so that one's ready to go alright now we just gotta do this piece here I'm not gonna cut a very big piece And with this, with this uh, uh, Kamoi tape, um, <clears throat> I dog ear it because of the fact that it's hard to get off when you when you put it on, you know, when you seal it back down. So I'll line this up here, and then, like I said, it may not look very pretty, but. So I'm gonna go. Whoops! I, know, I forgot to. I do it about three or four times. So I'm gonna go top side with this. <clears throat> and I follow the uh, trenches. Going, I don't push very hard because you don't want to, you don't want to um, score your paint. So now I'll take this side. And 
block it off. Alright. <clears throat> A little piece there that needs to be cut off, but we'll take care of that. Just pretty much as simple as that. Alright, now we have all of our uh, <clears throat> we have all of our tape on and um, what I'm going to do uh, is uh, put a piece of tape, just my regular scotch tape around the ring so I don't get any overspray on it and then uh, get set up for my um, get set up for my blue and uh, get set up for that. Hang on, let's get this. <clears throat> Basically, you do this so you don't get uh, you don't get your your um, anything else um, overspray. Like I, like I said in the past, you're going to go through a bunch of tape when you do these type of models. If you want it to look real good, you're going to have to, you're going to, have to learn to, to go through a bunch of models. And I'm going to roll that, roll that up. And then I got to fix a little area right here. Just a little bit of tape. <clears throat> Alright. Let me get set up for the... Uh, for the um, <clears throat> the blue and I will uh, take you back over there now I got one that came loose and I gotta figure out where it went uh, there it is right there <clears throat> and that folks you're gonna have problems with this and I, I guarantee you're gonna have uh, I'm not going to say it's going to be an easy easy task doing this because of the fact that some of these pieces are real small and I do notice that uh, on these on these ships, especially around the nacelles, uh, around the base of the nacelles, um, <clears throat> let me grab one real quick. I will tell you that around here uh, and around here uh, in this area you're going to have problems with this uh, masking because it's not going to want to stick it has a very low tack so what you may end up having to do is use masking tape just a you know plain Jane you know a little masking tape or you can use this yellow tape I got this uh, Kamoi tape from my local Hobby Town USA it runs about six dollars a six dollars a, 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 a pack uh, but it is real good tape and um, <clears throat> So you are going to have problems with it right down on these areas. So, uh, you know, just a heads up, it doesn't matter where you, who you go through, uh, you're going to have the issues with it. So let me get set up with the uh, blue and we'll be right back. All right, guys, here we are back. Uh, <clears throat> I've got set up and when you spray this stuff like this, you're going to want uh, to be in an open ventilated area. So... Um, I'm uh, sorry it's loud, it's a little loud outside, but I've got it set up now and I've got my uh, little pressure, my high volume, low pressure sprayer. So I've got it set up and ready to go. So let's do a test shot. All right, so here we go. Welcome back. Sorry, I had to uh, turn my compressor off, and I didn't want it to be loud. But as you can see, I've got a nice, uh, nice even, nice even coat of blue on there. Um, <clears throat> the reason why I did it this way is because of the fact that if you use your use your uh, airbrush, you might have a little bit of trouble with uh, getting 
um, getting um, an even coat so that's why I did that and I learned that off of Boyd from Trekworks and it looks like I may have to spray <clears throat> this little area right here one more time so uh, let me take care of that and I will be right back with you stay tuned all right guys welcome back uh, now we've got all of our <clears throat> all of our um, um, Paint. I'm gonna give this a quick force dry with my heat gun. All right. Now I'll take through, take you through, and pull off a couple of a uh, couple of these sets. Um, we're gonna start. We're gonna leave these on, these sets on. But now we're gonna start taking some of these off, and. Uh, <clears throat> This is the other bad part about doing this is taking off all the uh, <laughs> taking off all the uh, all the pieces. So all I have to do is go through here and cut cut this right here. <clears throat> all right now I'll go through and take all this going to do the same thing over there but believe me this is like I said this is a lot uh, a lot easier to do than the one one thousand scales. All right. <clears throat> I've got a couple of those taken off. Let me zoom in and show you. And before my, <clears throat> see if I can get a good, nice, uh, good, nice, even shot here of the blue. You can see it just barely. There you go, right there. You can see the the blue sheen to it. So um, it turned out real nice. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to finish all this. And then um, <clears throat> I will come back and show you the finished product uh, at a, uh, in a later date, probably in the next couple of days or so. I'll have the top saucer complete, and uh, then I'll show, go through it and show you how to do the bottom saucer. So uh, until then, guys, thanks for watching. And I also want to say, um, <clears throat> say thanks to uh, everybody. Hang on, let me turn the camera around so you can see me here. There we go. Uh, I just want to say thank you to uh, all of my my uh, Facebook uh, friends. Uh, they've been supportive. Also, want to say uh, thank you to uh, everybody on the uh, YouTube that subscribed. I have uh, uh, 80 80 so plus subscribers now are getting there, and I know I have 80 at least. But I also want to say thanks for the the views have come in. The, I have just grown. Uh, tremendously now uh, last time I looked I had uh, a little over 1200 views uh, now I'm on the plus side of 1300 views so I, I appreciate that the uh, the channel's growing I should you know appreciate all the supporters that have come out uh, and, and you know visited the channel I, I hope to continue to help everybody doing this um, like I've said in the past, if you have any questions, you can email me at jdemco80 at gmail.com, and I will try to put that up on my my uh, screen uh, screenshot for you, or you can uh, get in contact with me through Facebook, uh, Jake Demco, or um, you can uh, you know uh, contact me through YouTube. So, if you have any questions or if you have any ideas that you might want. Uh, you know me to do or something you might want me to see you know see me do on the channel just let me know I'll be more than happy to uh, work with you and, and answer any questions you have so um, 
I want to say again thanks to my good buddy Ralph at Tenant Controls uh, for sponsoring me and um, and uh, I want to say thanks to uh, everybody out there that supplied me with these uh, with these wonderful uh, materials that we're using for these kits so uh, until then everybody um, I want to say thanks to uh, thanks to everybody and um, uh, again um, uh, thanks to all my followers. I appreciate it. Uh, we've come a long way uh, on this channel. So uh, after this project is over, I've got another one starting up uh, that's going to be kind of a, uh, another surprise. It's, it's another 350 build, but we're kind of changing things up on that one as well. And I'll take you through some of it. I'm not going to do a whole lot with that video uh, build-up series because it's kind of the same as the 350 that I'm doing now, basically just changing up different colors a little bit, and um, <clears throat> the ship has been altered a little bit, so it's going to be it's going to be kind of cool to to do. So uh, we'll take you through some of that and uh, do some follow up videos through that, and then uh, once I get through with that one, uh, I've got uh, a couple of small ones, but then I've got uh, uh, coming down the line, I've got a Klingon Bird of Prey. Uh, 1350 and then I've got the uh, 1677 scale USS Voyager that I'm going to be working on. I'll go through a video build up on that one. I've also got the Defiant. Uh, I'm be coming down the line and also I have um, the Enterprise D which is the uh, 1350 scale version of or 1400 scale sorry and that one is a clear model uh, molded in plastic, clear plastic so if you've seen uh, Boyd over at Trekworks, he's done that one, um, and uh, so we're going to be kind of through going through and and uh, working on that one a little bit. So we're coming, we're staying busy, folks. And uh, so uh, <clears throat> I do, uh, you know, if you need anything done, just let me know. Uh, I will be more than happy to contact me. You know, be more than happy to contact me, and uh, uh, we'll go from there. So uh, take it easy, and until then, folks. Uh, have fun modeling and take care. We'll see you down the line.